Hello? Want to see a neat book about drawing and drawing cartoons? You need to check this video out. Hello everyone, it's me, your old pal Max West. As you know, I draw comics and I do children's picture books. And today, <clears throat> I want to talk to you about a very neat book that's inspired me in a number of ways. That book is Cartooning, The Art and the Business by Mort Gerberg. This was published in 1989 by uh, William Morrow and Company. This is actually a reprint of a much older book. It was uh, the Arbor House Book of Cartooning, also by Mort Gerberg, which was published back in 1983. And <clears throat> this book is one I want to talk to you about. I'm just going to give you an honest review. Now, you're probably wondering who Mort Gerberg is. There's something I've noticed a lot about, about many books on there on drawing cartoons and comics. Many people have criticized these books, saying the book itself is done by someone you've never heard of, whose own artwork, at best, it only looks okay, but usually it looks bad. Oh no, that's not the case with Mr. Gerberg. This guy has walked the walk and talked the talk. He has many years of experience. He did the short-lived comic strip, Koki, K-O-K-Y. He's done many gag cartoons for Playboy magazine, The New Yorker, all kinds of other publications. <clears throat> He's also worked in advertising and done a number of children's picture books. So this guy, he knows what he's talking about. All right. <clears throat> now, the book itself. Now, what happens here is that he, um, the first chapter, he talks about his own experiences in cartooning. Yeah, he's from a different uh, time. He when he this is when magazine gag cartoons were still done. He talked about going into the various magazines in New York City with his portfolio. It gives some pretty good insight into uh, the past and how things used to be done. I'll talk more about magazine gag cartooning in a moment. He also talks. The next chapter he talks about is, you know, the materials, you know, what does he draw with? <clears throat> you know, pens, brushes, inks, pencils, papers and such. What I really like here, <clears throat> you know, besides his own cartoons, he has examples of other people's work. He specifically defines what is a cartoon. And I think his definition, that's worth the price of the, book, of the book alone. A cartoon, as defined by Mort Gerberg, is instant communication of a funny idea. Now, that's kind of the whole point. The rest of the book, mo most of the book, the first parts of it, he specifically concentrates on drawing gag cartoons. Cartoon drawing, you know, simplification generating ideas, composition, things like that. Now, unlike many other drawing books, there are no lessons about how to draw a man, how to draw a woman, how to draw a cat, how to draw a house. I mean, if you were looking for actual instruction on how to draw things like that, you are not going to find that in this book. Still, though, that to me, that is a welcome change, as <clears throat> that definitely sets this apart from all those drawing books out there that show demonstrations and say, here, draw like this. He talks a lot about drawing the um, gag cartoon, the elements of it, and such. And then... A lot, of, a lot of the rest of the book, he talks about many other aspects, which he refers to as th thinking outside the box. 
spot drawings for newspapers, books, and magazines. He also he talks about children's books. <clears throat> now, he says a magazine gag cartoonist has two talents making them natural for a work in children's books. They communicate an idea instantly and they draw in a funny manner. In fact, it was Mr. Gerberg who inspired me to do my first children's book, Hilda and Ritchie. I draw in a very funny way and my cartoon style communicates instantly on the page. <clears throat> he talks a lot about other stuff in the book, such as he talks about comic strips and newspaper comic strips. He does touch a bit on uh, editorial cartoons, as well as animation. He draws about, he talks about comic books too as well as greeting cards, humor books, and some resources in the back. So, putting it all together, what can I say about this book? Well, I can say a lot of good things. Many cartoonists out there, old and new, they consider this pretty much a Bible to cartooning. I mean, the advice in here is very good. And Mort Gerberg, he knows what he's talking about. His own style is, is pretty unique, and he has years of experience behind him. A lot of the material he talks in the book, composing the gag cartoon, the elements, putting it together, that can be applied to anything else he talks about in the book, like drawing a humor book, doing greeting cards, doing a picture book, creating a comic strip, whether you want it in print or on the web. <clears throat> well, now the book is not perfect. As I said before, this was written in 1989. This was before computers became commonplace among people especially for drawing. And this is also before the rise of the Internet. So, yeah, he doesn't talk much about social media, anything really about social media, having a website, making a webcomic, nor does he talk about digital tools like graphics programs and tablets for drawing on. So, yeah, in that respect, the book does show its age. Also, a lot of the information in the back of the book, he gives, you know, addresses to some publications, publishers, newspaper syndicates. As you can guess, all of those are out of date, so anyone wanting updated information will have to look elsewhere, like online or artist's market. <clears throat> and also, we need to face facts. Magazine cartooning isn't just dead. It's deader than dead. It's extinct. Magazine gag cartoons are virtually non-existent, with probably the exception of the New Yorker, and even then, they accept very few cartoons, so anyone hoping to make it as a magazine gag cartoonist, forget it. However, in my opinion, the pros of this book outweigh the cons. This is unique from other drawing books. Mort Gerber knows what he's talking about. And the advice in here is very handy. You can apply this to manga, web comics, digital art. Seriously, you should track down a copy of this, Cartooning the Art and the Business by Mort Gerber. You can probably find this at a local library. I found this many years ago in the Ridgewood Public Library in Queens, New York, where I grew up. It is out of print, so you'll have to look on eBay, Amazon Marketplace, used bookstores, secondhand stores if you want to track down a copy. But it is worth getting this book. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to my channel today, hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. If you want to check out some of my work, you know, click on the links below. 
Until next time, everyone, this is your old pal Max West saying goodbye.